But uh, Derek Bell was laughing the with Billy the Marlin there, but holding on tight. Wild pitch. Moises Alou trying to score from third, and he is out at the plate. Take another look. As the pitch was in the dirt, Alou might have gotten his hand in there, but Greg Redman applies the tag. They call him out. Bottom of the third, 1-0 Marlins. Derek Lee jumps on the hanging curveball from Mike Hampton, and that is gone. Number 13 for Lee this year. Marlins up 4 nothing. In the fourth, Carl Everett, routine grounder. Edgar Renteria is up with it. We show you that because Everett limps off with a strained left quad, and he is now day-to-day. -day. Top of the sixth, Jeff Bagwell facing Jesus Sanchez. Two men on. Bags does not get all of it. Got a lot of it, but not all. Off the wall, Ricky Gutierrez and Derek Bell both score. Astros trailing 4-2. Top of the ninth, it's 5-3 Marlins. Craig Biggio, who'd played in 494 consecutive games, second only to Cal Ripken. Hoping to get a shot as a pinch hitter, but strike three called as Matt Manti got Tony Eusebio. That Manti struck out the side. Kareem Reed. Kareem down the right field line. Jay Bell scores. Devo Devon White scores. It's a triple for Garcia. Diamondbacks go up three to nothing on Kerry Wood, who they say may miss his next start. Take some time off because of that dead arm. Wood facing Andy Fox in the second and crazy like a fox. With a bomb to right, solo shot. And it's 4-1 Arizona, bottom of the third. 5-1 D-back, Sammy Sosa with a man on. And the little kid wants Sammy to hit it there. It's high, it's deep. Aloha means goodbye. Number 43 for Sosa as they fight for the souvenir. Cubs down 5-3. Bottom of the fifth, man on for Sosa facing Bennis. This is crushed, demolished, and foul. Buck Showalter, that's all, oh, man. That all right, game. same at bat. Ends without a bang, but a whisper. Smoke. But gotta come back and beat Smoke from today. Bennis. 7-3 Diamondbacks, Wood facing. Oh, Andy Stankowitz behind the back. Glove save and a beauty. Bottom of the ninth, it's a 10-7 game. Arizona leading. Mickey Morandini on at first. Guy's got a net. This guy, he likes to watch. Watching Sammy and hoping for something dramatic instead. Greg Olson gets him to ground into a 6-4-3 DP. And the Cubs go down to defeat 10-7. The Diamondbacks take two out of three from the Cubs. Chicago losing despite Sosa's 43rd home run. Car At the top of the second, no scores. Replacement at first base, John Mabry. Coming through. Solo home run for him, his seventh of the year. McGuire and Thos. Cards up 1-0. Dark, misty night at County Stadium. Bottom of the second, one nothing cards. Runner on first, Darren Jackson. High fly to right field off Ken Merker. Willie McGee having some problems on the aforementioned dark and misty night. It falls, runners to second and third. Uh, run would later score to even it at one. Same inning, still tied at one. Jeff Juden, grounder up the middle. Pat Kelly, nice play, and gets the not particularly speedy Juden at first. Top four, still tied at one. Ray Lankford on second. Ron Gant, slow roller to first. John Jaha flips to Juden. We reiterate the not particularly speedy part. Didn't get there in time. Everyone's safe. Your next batter is Mabry. And he comes through. Two for four in the game, including that single to left. That makes it 2-1 to St. Louis. Same inning now, 3-1 cards. Ken Merker laying down the bunt. Juden. Tries to get the force at second, but Tom Lampkin's in there. Mabry scores. It's 4-1 cards. Not a good night for Juden. Went through the top of the first. He gets Tony Clark swinging. One of only two strikeouts in the game for Guzman. Bottom of the first, still scoreless. Justin Thompson pitching, and Robbie Alomar sends the third pitch of the game out of the park. Tenth of the year, second leadoff homer of the year for Alomar, 1-0 Orioles. Still bottom of the first, Eric Davis extends his hitting streak to 22 games with the double. Top of the sixth, game tied at one. Tigers threatening with runners at the corners. Clark grounds it to Robbie Alomar, who starts the four, six, three, inning, ending double play. Bottom of the eighth, 2-1 Orioles, bases loaded. Sean Runyon pitching for the Tigers. Rafael Palmero. Oh, is he hot, as hot as the team. His second career, or his fifth career Grand Slam, his 34th homer of the year, 6-1 O's, and they hang on to the 6-1 win. Bottom of the second, no score, Andrew Jones against Mike Remwinger. Jones going yard off of Remwinger for the fourth time in 12 career at-bats. 
The Braves are up just like that, one nothing. Top five is two nothing Braves. Brett Boone. Martinez hasn't disappointed anyone. In Brett Boone, there he is, steering one into right field. Right. Gerald Williams in there and picking one up at his GW, getting it done. Bottom of the six is still two nothing. The big cat. He's got cat class and he's got cat style. Number 34 for the big cat, but the first at Turner Field since July 5th is 3-0 Braves. Bottom of the eighth. Here comes Larry Wayne Jones. They call him Chipper. Chipper. Dimitri Young, glove stinks. Yeah, yeah. Two batters later. Andrew Jones not only owns Mike Remlinger, he owns the Reds. 42 career home runs, 12 of them against the Reds, but that is not one of them. How many times have you seen a guy just miss a home run on a foul ball? Then we edit the next highlight to show you that he did, in fact, hit one. That is number 12 in 42 of his career home runs, 12 of them against the Reds, 19th of the year. Meanwhile, Maddox had plenty going on as the Braves win it easily, 5-0. Maddox going the route for the ninth time this year. It's his fifth shutout, his 15th win. Looking for some good arms. Young lady throwing a piazza before the game. Bottom of the fifth. Mets down 2 nothing until Edgardo Alfonso takes Oral Hershiser over the wall. His seventh of the year. Mets up 3-2. to two. Bottom of the seventh. Mets up 4-2. Alvin Mormon pitching to the newly acquired Tony Phillips. And Phillips hits his first National League home run to give the Mets a 5-2 lead. Todd Pratt likes what he sees in the Mets dugout. Top of the eighth. Pitcher, Giants down 6-2, but with Bill Miller at third and Barry Bonds at second, Dennis Cook out of the bullpen to pitch to Jeff Kent, and Kent takes the fastball deep over the right field wall for his 16th, his 21st RBI in his last 13 games. Giants cut the lead to 6-5. Still in the eighth inning, Greg McMichael comes in to face pinch hitter Charlie Hayes with two on and two out, and Hayes hits the Giants' second three-run homer of the inning, his third career pinch hit homer. The Giants regain the lead 8-6. The Mets bullpen blowing its 19th of 44 save opportunities this year. That's why Bobby V's got gray hair. Top of the ninth, Giants up 8-7. Bases juiced for Brent Main facing Turk Wendell. And two out, Main caught looking. Wendell gets out of the jam. Still 8-7 Giants. Bottom of the ninth, John Olerud at first. Pinch hitter Matt Franco gets the base hit off Rob Nen, who got through the eighth but then tried to pitch the ninth and gives up the hit. Runners at the corners for the next hitter, Brian McCray. McCray against Nen. And the one whacks it to center field to score Olerud to tie the game at eight. This is supposed to be getaway day, but these guys are going to go three hours and well, 30 minutes plus. Dusty Baker brings in Jose Mesa, Edgardo Alfonso. Consulting a higher authority after an intentional walk to Lenny Harris. Louis Lopez on a 3-1 count. Ball four. The second time this series, Mesa walks in the winning run. Mets win a wild one, 9-8. Brent Main heads home unhappy. The Giants, whose bullpen has the lowest ERA in... Bottom three, one nothing. Joey Hamilton, who just had a son born at the plate, hot grounder to third. Scott Rowland, pick in the peg, good scoop by Brony over at first. Outstanding defensive first baseman. Two batters later, Steve Finley hadn't homered since July 17th. Viagra, his ninth. It's two one Padres. Top of the fourth, Phillies down two one. Mark Lewis at the plate, Brony at second, facing Joey Hamilton. Here's Lewis hopping one up the middle. Bronya was on. He'll show off some wheels, and Bronya will score to tie the game at two. Bottom 10, Steve Finley, the winning run on second. Ken Caminetti against Mark Leiter, and Leiter got him. We're still tied at two. Top 11, Trevor Hoffman now in. He has 37 saves. He had worked a perfect 10th, but on an 0-2 pitch, Scott Rowland rips one into left field, and Rowland, this guy always hustles, digging for second, and he's in there head first safely. Next batter, Bronya against Hoffman. Rowland on second. It's an 0-2 pitch to Bronya. He had failed to bunt, and Bronya and makes Hoffman pay. Pulling one in there. Rivera going to come up throwing. It is a perfect throw, but a great slide. By Roland gets in there. Phillies up 3-2. Bottom 11, Greg Vaughn, the tying run at the plate, and Vaughn has been struggling, and he has a seat courtesy of Leiter, and the Phils hang on to win it by a count of 3-2. Satchel Page becoming the oldest pitcher in history to throw a complete game shutout. Mo Vaughn gets his 28th homer of the year. There's really no correlation between Mo and Satchel. I just wanted to add that point. Good information. Bottom seven, five, three Rangers. Thomas Goodwin on second one out. Rusty Greer, slow roller. Greg Swindell takes it by himself, but Goodwin doesn't have 30 stolen bases for nothing. Has wheels, will travel, will score. Six, three Rangers. So Juan Gonzalez loses an opportunity to drive in a runner from third. Doesn't matter. Juan, mid up. Mid up. 
You know what? I got to go. Second homer in two nights, 33rd of the year, 118th RBI, 7-3 Rangers. Top eight, Vaughn facing Eric Gunderson. Oh, Mo. Oh, don't hurt him, bro. Second of the game, third multi-homer game this year, 21st of his career. Red Sox down 7-4. Top nine still 7-4. Runners at first and second. Wetland facing Vaughn. First pitch, fastball. Vaughn can't catch up. 0-1 pitch, fastball high. Vaughn takes. 1-1, fastball up again. Mo fouls it off. 1-2, breaking ball inside. The 326 hitter takes. 2-2, fastball up again. Vaughn said later, I had him where I wanted. That's half the battle. 3-2 pitch, foul ball. So still 3-2, Wetland looking in. Wetland pitching his third straight game, tells Mo, you ain't got to go home, Mo, but you got to get up out of here. John later said, with a talented hitter like Mo, if you're going to throw it to a spot, you'd better have a little extra mustard on it. Rangers. The Expo is trying to pick up four straight, matching a season high. Wilton Guerrero bunts it down the first baseline. Perez watching, watching, hoping, hoping. No wishes come true here. It stays fair. Bottom of the fourth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom of the fourth. It's 2 nothing Expos. Runner on second for Mike Mordecai. Mordecai crushes the Perez offering to deep left a two run shot. Mordecai's second of the season gives the Expos 4 0 lead. Bottom five, still 4 0. Rookie Terry Jones takes Perez to left. A solo shot, his first major league home run. He brought in four runs today, and it's a blowout. Expos sweep the series. 9 0 is the final. It's Bottom second, John Thompson facing Kevin Young. Strikes him out looking. Thompson had. Five strikeouts on the day. Rockies down one nothing. Jason Smith, he's struggling. Mike Lansing hits a gapper, bounces over the left center field wall. RBI ground rule double scores Todd Helton. Top of the seventh, 2-1 Colorado. Dante Bichette crushes the pitch to right center. A two-run shot, number 17 on the year. 200 for his career. The Rockies win it 5-1. to one. Thompson's four-hitter in, in Minnesota this afternoon. Dan Serafini facing Jose Offerman in the top of the third. Offerman hits his sixth home run and extends his hitting streak to 25 straight. 5-1 Royals. Bottom of the eighth, 6-5 Royals. One out away from a win, but Marty Cordova with the bases loaded single drives home Pat Mears and Paul Molitor. Twins lead 7-6. Top of the ninth. Man on for Jeff King, who's also had two doubles in this one. King takes Rick Aguilera deep, his 21st homer of the year. Jeff Montgomery throws the ninth for his 15th straight save, and the Royal.